Yeah, come on in. Guess who's here? <laughs> What's up? Zendaya. Hey. Thank you so much for having me by. I know how busy you are. Yeah, of course. Thanks for coming. I'm going to ask you 73 questions. Let's do it. And I see that you're picking a bunch of lemons. Yeah, I'm making lemonade. You want some? I'd love some. I got you. Okay, now question number one. Where does your name originate? Okay, so technically it's a long story, but it's based off a word that means to give thanks. That's pretty. And how would you describe your upbringing? Um, real. Who would you say is your role model growing up? My mom. And today, has it changed? No, it's still my mom. Why? Because she's a teacher, you know, and she's spent her whole life giving, and I really admire that. Yeah. And what's the first thing you thought of this morning? Can I be honest? Sure. <laughs> Blowing my nose because I have a little cold right now, so be careful. <laughs> I'm going to keep my distance. All right. So what's something you do every morning without fail? Oh, unfortunately, I check my phone. Same here. Yeah. What gets you out of bed? My dog, Noon. Cute. And you're Virgo. Yeah. What's the most Virgo thing about you? Okay, now this is going to sound negative, but like, I'm a little bit of a control freak. Just a little bit. Zendaya, aren't we all? <laughs> Zendish! Hey, Darnell, can you um take these for me? Yeah. This is Darnell. He's my assistant, slash brother, slash everything organizer of my life. Hey, Darnell. Hey. <laughs> Thank you. Okay, so what's the most Californian thing about you? The most Californian thing about me is that I still get excited when I see snow. Like, I think it's really, really cool because obviously we never get snow. So obviously if you see snow all the time, it's not exciting for you, but I think it's cool. And where do you feel most at home? Um, at home. That makes sense. And who do you feel most at home with? Uh, I think my dog makes me feel most at home. Now, I suspect that these are rare for you, but if you had a full day off, what would you do with it? Nothing. I would do absolutely nothing. How do you unwind? I do nothing. I just stay inside <laughs> and like watch Harry Potter and just like don't do anything. So what's been taking up your days as of late? Um, I'm f finishing up my show Euphoria, so that's been uh, it's been taking up a lot of time. I had literally a night shoot last night. Yeah, Euphoria has been getting some serious buzz. Yeah, I'm very excited about it. And it's such a departure from Disney. What can you tell us about it? Um, I mean, I'm excited and equally terrified, but um, I don't know. I mean, I can say that it's the most exciting exhausting but fulfilling thing I've ever done. What is it that attracted you to Rue? Honestly, I hate reading scripts and this was the first time that I read a script so fast and I just kept reading and reading and reading and I don't know, I just I fell in love with her. And what was the most difficult part of playing her? Um, I mean, I can only understand how her brain works so much, you know, so I really rely heavily on our uh, writer, creator, director, Sam Levinson, because Rue is basically him, you know, it's his life, so I just ask him. What are you hoping fans get out of the series? Um, I hope they feel something, you know, like whatever that is. I don't know. Just I, I hope they feel something. Do you feel pressure when you're deciding to post things on your social media? You know, it's kind of weird. Yeah, I, I have been more so now than than ever before, which I think is a little weird for me. But I just kind of I don't know. I just taken a step back and I haven't posted as much anymore. Do you read the comments? No, not really. And less so like from like my friends, you know, then I read those. How do you deal with negativity? Um, you know, I try to keep in mind, you know, that everyone is dealing with something that we have no idea about, you know, so I just try to have compassion for them, you know? It's very wise. What's something your followers may not know about you? I think they know this, but I'm a very shy, introverted person. And what's been the coolest thing that you've learned from a fan? <laughs> my fans, they keep me on my toes, they keep me politically aware, they keep me socially aware, and they always correct my grammar and spelling, okay? I get it, I know I can't spell, okay? <laughs> So, Dad, I love this fire pit, but it's kind of hot. Yeah, I, I get that. I know we're in California and it's sunshiny, but I'm sitting by the fire. See how that could be weird. <laughs> how would you describe your personal style? Um, you know, the thing is, I don't have one. I don't think I actually have one. What's the most overworn item in your wardrobe? Um, probably my Converse. And what's the most luxe thing that you've ever worn? <laughs> it's actually a funny story. Um. I went to a premiere and uh, I had these earrings. They were big, beautiful earrings. And I thought they were fake, to be honest with you. Mm -hmm. um, and then there was this article that came out the next day that was like, Zendaya wears million dollar earrings. <laughs> and I was like, Law, did you put me in million dollar earrings last night? He was like, mm, probably. No, no. What? What? <laughs> so long story short, they're not mine. I gave them back. Um, <laughs> and yeah, <laughs> probably never happened again because I was so stressful. <laughs> Who's the most stylish person alive? Uh, La Roche, my stylist. And what would you consider to be your uniform? Probably just black slacks and like a 
white tee. Vintage or designer? Vintage designer. That's a cheat answer. Sneakers or heels? Sneakers at the moment, but I, um, I do love some heels. What's the all-time greatest purchase you ever made? That's a tough question. I refuse to answer that one. An outfit that maybe you wish you skipped? <laughs> None of them, actually, because I think they all have equally helped me like find my confidence and figure out what I like, so I wouldn't take it back. And what would you say is your beauty philosophy? There are no rules. How about a beauty product that you don't go a day without wearing? SPF. What is the best beauty tip you've ever received? Um, take your makeup off before you go to bed. I'm serious. Even if you're tired, do it. Noted. Favorite lip color? <laughs> Red. Your go-to beauty look at this very moment? Um, nothing, honestly. When I'm not working, just nothing. Strong lip or strong eye? Strong eye. Now, I know you often do your own makeup for events. Yeah. Where did you learn those skills? Um... <laughs> I've had so many makeup horror stories and I've had so many makeup artists in my past that I just kind of took all the good things from each of them and uh, learned how to do it myself. That act of you doing your own makeup, it's so, I don't know, like old school theater. Yeah, for sure. And I've heard you hone your acting skills via Shakespeare. Yeah, my mom actually works at the California Shakespeare Theater. She's a house manager there since I was like two years old. How many of his plays have you seen? Like all of them, several times. Who's your favorite character in all of Shakespeare? Maybe Viola from Twelfth Night. How about your favorite line in any play? If music be the food of love, play on. Ah, I like that one. That's not bad. Noonie! Noon! Love me! Oh! Everyone knows that Noon doesn't love me. He loves my mom and Darnell more. Now your dog Noon Come has here. a Twitter account that I saw. Come here. Yeah. Is that right? But uh, surprisingly... Ready? Ready? I don't run it! And what would he tweet about at this very moment if he did? He'd probably tweet, like, why are you guys in my backyard? If you could go back and tell 13-year-old Zendaya one thing, what would it be? It would probably be to follow your instincts and follow your gut, because it's always right. And what would you tell other performers navigating fame at a similar age? Read the contracts. No mm. matter how boring they are, read the contracts. Okay, finish the sentence for me. Hollywood of the future looks like... Hopefully more diverse. Wow, this tree is beautiful. Thanks. All right, so dancing, trapeze work, martial arts, your work requires strong physical commitment. Yeah. What's been the hardest role to prepare for? You know, honestly, euphoria, because I feel like sometimes the emotional stuff is just as hard as the physical stuff. Yeah. Mm. What's been the most difficult stunt to learn? Uh, trapeze was pretty tough, especially for someone like me who doesn't work out. It was tough. Now, on average, how many body slams did you and your fellow 73 alum Zach Efron endure when filming The Greatest Showman? Uh, quite a lot. Let's just say we got very close. <laughs> Now, I saw on Jimmy Fallon that Hugh Jackman may have helped you overcome your fear of heights. He called me a badass. He did. Yeah, Logan called me a badass. Wolverine called me a badass. A badass. That's amazing. Yeah, do you want one? Uh, sure, I'll take it. Here, I'll start it off for you. Okay. I trust you. Try it. All right. Mmm, looks delicious. <laughs> What's your favorite scene to shoot in the latest installment of Spider-Man? Um... You know, there was this one scene stunt thing we did where they basically, they pulled us up like a hundred feet and then just dropped us on a swing. It was, uh, it was pretty nice. It was pretty intense. Yeah, it was, but it was fine. What's something you could share about your co-stars, Tom Holland and Jake Gyllenhaal? <laughs> that when they are together, no one else exists. Were you a fan of the comics before jumping onto the project? Mm-hmm. I think Spider-Man's always been my favorite superhero. Oh, me too. It's like, cool, right? Yeah. What traits in your character, MJ, hit closest to home for Zendaya? I don't know, she's a little bit of a loner and kind of like an introvert, so that's me. What do you think makes you an introvert? I don't know, I just like to stay at home and save myself. I can't help it. Now, if you had any superpower, what would it be? Teleportation, for sure. It would make my life, like, so much easier. Yeah, because you travel a lot. A lot. Any big trips coming up? Um, well, we have the Spider-Man press tour coming up, which is really cool. Oh, that's really cool. And by the way, I heard through the grapevine you may be involved in an iconic remake. What can you tell me about this? I can tell you, but I have to kill you. Don't ask me why I said that in a New York accent. So, besides acting, music has been such a strong focus in your career. Yeah. Do you feel more connected to acting or making music at this moment? I don't know. I mean, I, I always love, I always love both, but um, I don't know. I guess just acting is taking a front seat. What track always ends up on the Zendaya curated playlist? Right now, a lot of Solange. Mm. She's been, she's been holding me down. What's more important at a party, the playlist or the outfit? Playlist, a thousand percent. Like, if you have a whack playlist, the party will not be popping. If you want the party to jump off, side note, and if anybody needs it, 
play, this is how we do it. It works every time. Now, what's a song that you wish you'd written? A song for you by Donny Hathaway. What's the best concert you've seen this year? I haven't been to a concert this year because I've been so busy, but we all know Beyonce has the best concert. What's the best advice you've ever received? Oh, uh, that's my cue. When life gives you lemons, make lemonade. Well done, Darnell. Darnell with the perfect timing. I know. Was it not? What's some advice that you've completely ignored? Um, that you can't do it all because you can. If you, if you feel that you can do it, you can do it. Zendaya, what do you want to be known for? You know, this is going to sound really corny, but I don't know. I guess just being like a good person. That's not corny at all. Is that mine? Yeah, go for it. Oh, thank you very, very much. Now, who are the three women that are blowing your mind right now? Um, I know I mentioned Beyonce a lot, but always Beyonce. Mm-hmm. Um, uh, Michelle Obama, Rihanna. Those are incredible women. Zendaya, you're a very giving person. What cause would you say is closest to your heart? Honestly, there's so many things that I'm, I'm like passionate about that like we just have to have like a separate thing. You gotta come back and we'll just talk about that. What's a question you get asked all the time but you wish you didn't? Who are you dating? By the way, you're one of the most requested asked for 73 questions episode ever. Really? Yeah. Oh snap, thanks. I'd love to know who would you ask 73 questions to? Um, probably the three women I just mentioned. Um, plus maybe Oprah as well. Okay, I am sorry to say this but we're already at question number 73. Jeez, I went by like really fast. Yeah, I know, right? For all your fans who have requested this, okay. what message would you like to send them right now? I don't know, I think I would just say, um, I would just say thank you, you know, because a lot of them have come up with me and grown up with me, like literally probably the same age and grown up with me. Um, I just appreciate them supporting me through like all these different phases of my career as I continue to grow. So I appreciate that. That's awesome. And this was delicious. Thank you. Zendaya, thank, thank you so much. This is great. Bye-bye. Bye. -bye. Bye.